was awesome. Thank you so much. Okay, the moment we've been waiting for for today. Um, Diamond Master from Washington, Seattle. Bill Hatzel is here to give us a great presentation on eight, eight steps to success and a core. So give a big welcome to Bill Hatzel. Bill, take it away. There you go. It's okay. All righty. Well, let's see here. Come on, get to the right screen. There we go. Okay, one more. Well, I want to welcome everyone and let you know the starting point of all achievement is desire. Keep this constantly in mind because we know a weak desire brings weak results. Just as a small fire makes a small amount of heat. And that was from Napoleon Hill. So this a little bit of background on Bill, my life before Adamy. Yes, I was born in the USA in the state of Montana. And at age 19, I went to the Navy and I left the Navy in 1983. However, in between times, I met and married my beautiful bride, Arsenia, in 1978. We get back to the States after a few years overseas and Arsenia decides she wants to do network marketing. I wanted nothing to do with it. But she went out and she did her Avon for 20 years. And then she did her Zill for 10 years. In the meantime, I became Bill the Chauffeur. Okay. So in 1987, I graduated with a Bachelor of Technology degree in Diesel Technology with a business minor from the University of Montana campus. And in the meantime, I joined the Naval Reserve and retired in 2014 after 28 years of Navy service. At the same time, running consecutively, I hired into the shipyard and I just retired in 2017 after 38 years of federal service. And then I became the couch potato and I didn't do anything for over a year until I went to my very first one day seminar. And that's where I got the Atomy bug. And that's where I met Peter Park for the very first time. Have you ever been in the right place at the right time? Well, you are right now by being here today. Not just because I'm talking, but because it's a great meeting that we have every Saturday <clears throat> with Daniel. So ask our question, why don't people perform? We sign them up, we work with them, they don't do anything. Well, what happens is they don't know what to do. I didn't know what to do when I first joined Atomy. However, through a little bit of studying and a lot of my own, shall we say, uh, inquisitive minds, I, I learned a lot. So people don't know how to do it or they don't know why they should do it. And then they are feeling of obstacles beyond their control. Okay, people like to be in control of things no matter what it is. And so it's up to us. So why the eight core activities and the eight steps of success? Well, these are tools to assist you in growing your confidence and knowledge in atomy. Because we all know knowledge is power. And the more we know about atomy, the more we can share. So both of these provide us a track to run on that you can control. Okay, you can control your eight core activities, you can control your eight steps of success. And I'm going to cover each one of these individually. So bear with me for a while. Okay, so our eight core activities begins with reading a book, watching videos, attending meetings, using the products, customer care, show the plan, consultation and building trust. 
So these are our eight core activities. And out of the eight core, we're gonna read a book, right? Well, our momentum action plan says, you don't have to read the book all at one time. You can read about 15 minutes every day. Be thirsty in your knowledge, okay? Read from the Bible, because there are many great stories in there. Or from the best books list about network marketing. And I have a, two pages of examples of that I'll show you at the end. So watch a VOD, watch a video of Chairman Park, Dr. Lee, and our successors. I've watched many, many, many Success Academy speakers over different subjects and topics. And where do I find them? Well, I found them on YouTube or I found them on Channel Atomy to build my confidence and to continue my passion. And it also protects your attitude of Atomy. Okay, we want to 100% use the products. Okay, what's this mean? Well, well, you change your market anatomy online shopping mall for your main products and use them all first. And here's an example. I just sponsored a friend of mine down in Tennessee. And he says, Bill, I'm really partial to Starbucks coffee. And I go, you know what, Tony? I'm really partial to anatomy black coffee, cafe Arabica. I says, I would rather drink that and that stuff they have in Starbucks. Two reasons. You don't know what they put in it, for one. It's Starbucks. And they're always mixing it with something different. And they're charging you an outrageous price. If you purchase Adamy's coffee, you could make your own espresso. You just add a couple of packets to your coffee, and there you go. So I use my Adamy products first. And if Atomy has a product at our shopping mall that I can buy, that's where I'm buying it first. Because two reasons. I have a business with Atomy. And if you buy from yourself, for yourself, you also use the product and you can share the product. That's the key with Atomy. You don't have to buy a lot, but what you do buy, you share with other people. So that's what they mean by using the products. And I do that every day. Attend all meetings. Does this mean you have to be at every single meeting? No, but it means you should be at every one that you can be. And make it your highest priority to show up. That's a key thing is show up. And after you show up, participate. Don't just sit there like a bump on a log, letting people ask a question you might have in your mind. You ask the question. Or they want to know what you've been doing with Atomy this week. Or what's your Atomy story. Well, get involved. Start using it. Participating with the center meetings, especially since we're doing Zoom meetings. And then attend the one-day seminars that are once a month or the Success Academy that's every three months and the Zoom weekly meetings. Okay, customer care. What's this mean? Out of consumer discovery. Well, you go out and you find a consumer, a customer, right? And you work with that person and you share products with that individual because you're gonna to listen to their story and they're gonna tell you what products they need. An instance came up the other night on one of our Zoom meetings about this lady who had really bad acne. And it was recommended that she uses the AC care. Well, she started to use the AC care and liked it and wanted to order more, okay? That be how you become an auto consumer. You solve their problems with products we have. And then once they become an auto consumer, you can talk to them about becoming a business partner. And how do you do that? 
show your vision. Well, you don't show it on a presentation slide or anything like that. You talk about your vision. Talk about your story. What got you excited about anatomy? Where do you want to go in anatomy? Okay, you don't have to be in great detail. You know, just have a five minute press speech or a two minute speech. Okay, just practice it. But tell people about your vision. And most importantly, while you're doing that, show your passion. Because if you're passionate about a, a product, you're going to want to share it. I'll guarantee you. Okay. Now we're talking about show the plan. Show the product to a consumer. Create a list. To, and the purpose for this is to become auto consumers or become a business partner. And showing them success together through Atomy. But does it mean I got to sit down and show them a 20 minute presentation on marketing? Or do I have to show them all the products Atomy has? No. What this means is, is you talk a little bit about the presentation on plan without doing the presentation. Okay, you can talk to people about how they go in the beginning and how that little bit of money can grow and grow and grow. So there's several different things that come under the heading, show the plan or show the product. You know, you got a good friend and they're, they're open-minded. Show them some of the other products that Atomy has. Uh, for instance, the other day, one of our folks that we just recently sponsored found out that Atomy has the, um, the gel for, uh, I can't think of that, I'm going brain dead here. But, but we have a gel for COVID, okay? And you go everywhere in every store, they have them out there by the doors, you can use them. Okay, but why use theirs when you can have your own? Sanitizer. Sanitizer, there's the word. Send you help me out here. Okay, so this is what I'm talking about. That's what it means show the product or talk to people about different things. Okay, now we come up on consultation. And this is for direction of a business. You need to check with your sponsor or partners whether you're doing something right or not. What this does is it helps prevent mistakes. And most importantly, with Atomy, you need to be teachable. Okay, so what am I talking about here? For direction of business. Okay, your sponsor. If they're working a business and they sponsor you, they know a little bit more about Atomy than you do. Okay? If they don't, get with the person who sponsored them. Because there's always somebody above you that's been working this for a while and they know the answers to your questions because they've walked in your shoes you're in right now. Okay? But this doesn't mean that if you're a Sharon Rose master, that you cannot consult with a star master or royal master or imperial master or crown master. No, what this means is you be there for the people you're sponsoring and then the people who sponsored you and are working with you will be there for you, okay? So that's what we mean by be teachable. Okay, we want to build trust. And this is the very most important thing right here is building trust. Be an example. Do what you say you're going to do in communication, smiling, greeting, complimenting, zero blaming, zero criticism, and zero complaints. Why? I'm not saying you can't do that. But when you're having a consultation with your upline or your downline, leave those zeros out of it. Because you want to be a positive example for those under you. Just as the people above you want to be an example to you. And that's where you want to emulate your upline. Or 
following all the way through. And most importantly thing is, if you tell someone you're going to be somewhere at a certain time, you do that. If you tell someone you have a product you, you, that they can use and, and test out, bring that product to them. So do what you say you're going to do. And most importantly is smile. If you look all grumpy, people are gonna get attuned to that grump, okay? But if you're smiling and you got a happy face going on, no matter what's going on behind that smile, people are gonna perceive you as a happy person. So that's the key thing about building trust. Okay, now here's our success system. And we've, been, we've seen this slide several times before, so I'm not gonna go into it, but we know we have our success academies, one day seminars, center readings. If you attend these, and start getting the bug, guess what? We will see you at the top. Okay, this is Bill's eight core activities daily checklist. Now this happened to be for the month of August of 2021 now. Now you notice the zeros, that means I didn't do much on that category there, but the X's I did. And so this is just a track record of where I'm at. Yeah, I got room for improvement because face it, nobody's perfect, okay? If we were perfect, that would be all X'd out, but I'm not, okay. And we also took a vacation from the 29th through the end of the month. It was our chance to get away for a while. So that's why not much activity there. Okay, now here is, here is a listing from the best books every day. I'll hold this up for a moment while you can, if you wanna take a screenshot of it, go for it. As I got a couple of these to show you, and, and these are very important. It don't mean you go out and buy them all or everything, but this will give you some ideas on how to work your business. Okay. So here is the second page. All right, here we go. So success is not in the system itself. We have our eight core activities, which I just covered, and coming soon are our eight steps to success. It depends upon how consistent you are. We have people Say, oh, I can't do this, or I, I got this excuse or that excuse. Well, guess what? They're not going to grow. But if you make up your mind, that desire that says, I'm going to do this, and you do it consistently, things happen on the positive note. Okay. So each week, you want to work with your upline and downline leaders, help them master the eight core activities and the eight steps to success as they build their anatomy business. Call them to track their progress, coach their areas needing improvement, and then check off the ones they have successfully completed. Now, you don't have to do this all the time, but once a week, but let them take care of what they're doing. You just check up on them because you're a leader, not a manager. The leader's out there in front leading the way, showing them how to do things. The manager's there managing what everybody's doing. We want leaders, not managers. So I will see you at the top. Okay, now I'm going to begin with eight steps of success. And it starts out with goal setting, a determination, list setting, inviting, explaining the business, following up, consulting, and duplicating. And you start duplicating, we will see you at the top. So number one is dream or goal setting. You're never too old to set another goal or to dream a new dream, C.S. Lewis. And we have an 81-year-old who is in our anatomy line 
And she felt that all of her dreams were done. But guess what? She got with Atomy and she started learning about Atomy. And now she has new dreams and she's carrying on. So Atomy's life goal is a balanced life. A balanced life is to live well, to love, to learn, and to contribute. Not just take, but to contribute, give back. So create the life you want to wake up to and have Atomy as part of that life. So our long-term goals, they establish the direction and define our success. And our short-term goals impact our daily behavior. So specify your dream. It's more unfortunate not to have a dream than not being able to achieve it. It ignites passion because we know it's the passion that keeps you going after your dream. Now, 99% of the people do not have a defined dream. That's why so many people fail. But if you wanna be successful, you must know it with spe be being specifically, and you must have a burning desire to achieve it. We had a young lady who didn't do the life scenario until about a month ago. And she sat down and did her, her life scenario. She learned a lot about it, about herself and what her goals actually were and how to achieve them. And she's now working her plan of going out and meeting people. I congratulate her for that. And she knows who I'm talking about. Okay, so write your detailed life scenario and set your time limit, set your timeline, set your amount that you want to achieve and then go for it. Okay, dream vividly and it will come true. By dreamer Han Gil Park. And he's talking about his life scenario. Okay, number two, determination. The starting point of all achievement is desire. I can and I will take the lead in your life and commit yourself. Make a firm determination to develop until the end all activities necessary to achieve your dream. That's a mouthful. All activities necessary to achieve your dream. So stay positive. The only difference between a good day and a bad day is your attitude. Nothing worthwhile in life is achieved without compromise and without giving anything in return. Not positive thinking, okay? Now, Wilma Rudolph says the triumph can't be had without the struggle. Now, Wilma Rudolph was a track runner and she was Olympic gold medalist. Okay, but as Peter would say, we have to pay the cost. And the cost is no free lunch. That goes along with the triumph can't be had without a struggle. No free lunch. Now you will fail to achieve your dream without a commitment to it. Have a daily plan with eight core activities and eight steps to success. Buy Atomy company products and then listen daily to motivational and instructional videos. Attend your meetings, every function or event possible. We know you can't attend 100%, but attend as many as you can. Because once you get in that mode, oh, they're just talking about the same old stuff. I'm not going to learn nothing. Well, guess what? You just sunk your ship. Because every time you see something or hear it, you're going to pick up something new that you just going to catch your attention. And it's going to keep you going. That's the importance of the functions and events. Then read the best book for your business. And then most importantly, 
Take action, action, action daily. Not just every other day or every third day or every second Wednesday of the last month of April. No, take it daily. So I'm going to ask you a question. Do you catch the bus for Imperial Master? It's leaving at the station. And here's where it begins. Buy Atomy products. Use Atomy products. Share Atomy products. That's the bus. Now it's time to get down and dirty. List our settings. Okay. What's this mean? Make a list, right? Okay. You heard of the NFL. No friends left. Okay. Well, we want to start the NFL, the new friends list. So simply stated, success requires you making a list of product users and potential business builders. These are the people you want to work with, travel with, and create great things. Without a list, you will not succeed. From Jeffrey Boyle. List building tips. One is do not judge. Let them judge. All you're doing is making a list of names of people and friends you know. Okay? Let them decide what's good for them. I've had people in the last few weeks trying to tell me what's good for Bill when it's totally wrong. So don't judge. So do not try to determine if they will last or become a distributor. It's up to them, it's not up to us. And then where do I begin? Well, everybody on Facebook, start with Facebook. Why? Because the average Facebook user has over 338 friends. And 15% of them have friends list topping 500. You can really reach out and touch someone in a matter of nanoseconds, okay? Use a memory jogger if you need to. If you can't find one, I think I have one. And in cell phone context, how many people are in your cell phone that you only call once in a great while, you know, once a month or once a year or even whenever you think about them, which is never? Check your cell phone contacts list. That's where you get your list from. And then after your list is made, qualify the people to talk to from first to last. So when you're making a list, you just write the names down. We, afterwards, that's when you start qualifying who you would like to talk to in the beginning and who at the end. So keep your record for your, of your discussions with people. Keep a record of the projects they're interested in and the purchases they have made or have talked about. And make this note very important. Talk to, talk to, not text or email. Why? Texts and emails are one-way communications and it's too easy for people to ignore them. But if you call and them on the phone and push them to the ground, or you talk to them in person, they, they can't ignore you. Okay, so talk to them. No texting, no emails. It's great if you just want a simple question. Okay, but for your records, talk to them. Number four, invite. The way each person is invited is very personal. It depends on the type of relationship you have with the person you're inviting. If you know them well, it's easy to invite. If you don't know them very well, you're hesitant, him and on, well, just approach them and say, hey, I got a new program or I'm involved with this program and I really think you would be interested with it, but would you please? you know, attend the meeting or go with me to the event. Okay, it's best if they do it in person. Start with the prospects of success, the best ones. First, invite the best candidates from your list of friends, mature and ambitious people who you respect and have backgrounds to support them. They will take the initiative and be example to others. 
are connection tools. A connection starts with the tools you're provided as a new representative. And they're listed right here. And that's only a few of them. Okay. So learn to really communicate with people and then introduce them to the Atomy business using these many tools at your disposal. And here is the eight core activities and eight steps to success. And you have massive marketing. That's made from your list, right? So you're reaching out and contacting them. And you have massive persistence. That doesn't mean you bug them every day. But every once in a while, they have an answer back or you, you talk to them, you know, keep in touch with them. Drip on them. Don't shotgun them. Just drip on them a little bit, but be persistent. And this leads to massive duplication. And through that funnel, those three become explosive. That's the importance of using the eight core activity to take steps to success. It helps you with the marketing and persistence and duplication. Number five, explain the business. Show the plan. About Atomy, the products, the compensation plan. Okay, as a member who is doing a business, okay, you need to be able to explain to somebody what Atomy's history is what the, the vision is going to be for the company for the next hundred years. You don't have to be in great detail on it, but you need to know a little bit about it. Along with our products, I talked about them earlier. And you need to be able to explain the compensation plan. You don't got to go into the nitty gritty details, but you need to have an overall view of how the people can earn money. And then, as a representative, you have access to professional presentations, videos, webinars, testimonies, and much more. Share them with people. Now, I know Arsenia here, she's been sharing videos of Atomy with other people. That got them excited about what finding more about Atomy. That's what it's about. Now, it's counterproductive for a new person to try to build their business without using these tools. And it's very short-sighted for existing leaders to forget the importance of duplication in step number eight by not encouraging their team to use them. Okay, you should become very familiar with the many tools available to you and work with a mentor to know which of these tools is best suited in each situation. Fortunately, I have had some great mentors with Atomy, okay? And I thank each and every one of them. Always have products to share with people. What does this mean? Do I gotta go wholesale, buy a whole bunch of Atomy just to have them on hand? No. You buy a few products to have on hand, especially ones you wanna introduce to people, okay? Have them available because people want it now instead of later, okay? They don't mind ordering online for later, but if they see a product now and they gotta have it and you don't, well, guess what? You've lost that person, haven't you? So have a few products available, okay? Especially the four set. Oh, we can't keep enough four set. And we can't keep enough for this, the, what we call the three-in-one coffee, the Cafe Arabica. Okay, with the, the, with the casein and the sugar. So we always order extra few of them because people want them and they want them now. That's what I mean by having products to share. Then product testimonies are an excellent way to share that product. And it's a brief explanation of what each product can do. And you learn what the products can do for yourself when you use them. But if you don't use them, you're going to have to rely upon other people's testimonies, which is cool, as long as it's a truthful one. And you're going to rely upon what you're learning at the website or in Channel Anatomy on the, on the PPTs, okay? So use the products to make the explanation easy and the presentation professional. And people have no interest in the opportunity. I don't want Atomy as a business, no way, shape, or form. Well, hey, you brush your teeth, don't you? 
You wash your hair, don't you? You scrub your hind end in the shower or the bathtub, don't you? We have products for those. So never lose an opportunity to share the product with people. That's the key thing. If they don't want a business, don't need, that's fine. Introduce them to something they use. Number six, follow-ups. Be continuous and repetitive. Follow-up begins the instant you invite prospective consumers to a product or opportunity presentation. This helps you to determine the person's level of interest, how to address objections respectfully, which of the income videos to share, and how to invite, how to sell, activate, and grow your business. Sell. But we do sell in, in, other, in, in one respect, and that's we sell ourselves and what we feel about Atomy to others. That's our passion. Say it again, that's our passion. So you receive no commission until a sale is made. Okay. We know this because of our compensation plan. In order for you to build a profitable business, consistently activating new members or selling products, you must master this step. It also means dealing with the other members, the, the older members, to become auto consumers. That's our goal. Sign somebody up in Atomy, get them become an auto consumer. Then you can talk to them about a business. Okay. Follow ups. I love this fortune cookie here. Your sales fortune is in the follow up. Well, what's he mean by that? Well, this represents over 50% of what makes a business successful. 50%, half. Did you know that 79% of leads are never followed up? And I believe that's true because most people don't follow up at all. And at least not as a professional. You know, set your date, your time, where you're going to meet and be there. Okay. So just following up, I like this, this little picture here. It takes months to find a customer and seconds to lose one. So follow up, always follow up, rule number one. Get them on the phone, talk to them, see how they like it. Okay, now notice she's got a couple of books there, Atomy Consumers and Atomy Leaders. And she's got a couple of products out there for her Atomy Cup. Now, set a firm date and time. I've already mentioned this before. Be on time. That is very important. Be prompt. Be courteous of their time. Condense your follow-ups for yourself. If you can combine some of your talk together on a follow-up, wonderful. If you can't, that's okay too. But the idea is be on time, condense your follow-ups, better results. And this will help you deal with fear of commitment not from yourself but from them okay you're prepared for it and you can offer some solutions okay so here's a beautiful lady what is follow up well we're educating prospects we're talking a little bit about anatomy or our products aren't we nurturing relationships you just meet someone for the first time you want to start a relationship, a friendship. You don't want to become a, a salesperson and give them a sales pitch right from the get-go. No, you nurture that relationship. Then you maintain your ongoing contact. By building that relationship, you are nurturing. You might have some common uh, things, okay? You can share those. And then while you're sharing them, you can share others that new to them. Okay, and then you want to provide a long-term value by staying on top of the prospect's mind. Keep, the, keep yourself in the front, in their forefront, okay? And then differentiate yourself from the competition. And how do you do that? Courteous, promptness, doing what you say you're gonna do, okay? Don't make a promise. 
that you can't keep, okay? If you start making promises you can't keep or don't keep, people are going to walk away from you and not want to do anything with you. And what is all this? As Daniel would say, this is follow through. Okay? And we, we saw the slide earlier, Hongil Park, it begins as soon as you start talking to them about a product or a presentation. And it continues through. Now we get into consulting. Now, here's where you need to understand the relationship between the sponsor and partner. Okay. So who do you listen to? You want to listen to the people who have what you want. You want to listen to the Diamond Master or the Sharon Rose Master, even the Sales Master if you're just beginning. The Star Masters, the Royal Master, the Crown Master, and the Imperial Masters. Where you meet all these people? On the Atomy meetings and, and Zoom and the Success Academies and one-day seminars. Listen to the people who have what you want. And then consult with your sponsor is important key to your success. They have your best interest in mind so that you can count on them to give advice, which is beneficial for your business. Knowing where you are and what you want in this business is crucial since it allows you to organize your progress according to a predetermined project. This goes back to the eight core now, doesn't it? Yes. And what are we calling this? We're calling it teachable. We're calling it coachable. Okay. So in mentoring, and this is your key to success, part one, as a mentor, you want to know your team members. And mentors are comfortable addressing topics such as personal relationships, personal issues, children, finances, and other non-related business issues because all of those form a person. A person is not just business, it's everything. And at different times, people are bothered by other issues. And a mentor is a shoulder to cry on once in a while, okay? But it's also you guide them to where they want to be in Adamy's business, okay. This is important because our personal issues impact our lives and performance. And as a mentor, you want to help your team with business strategies. Now, these strategies are how best to sell a product or share a product, how to run a business. When we first started Atomy, we were sponsoring one left, one right, two people left, two people right, like that underneath them. Well, we discovered that that was not quite the way we wanted to do the sponsoring. We wanted to sponsor them in a straight line and let those people sponsor, sponsor the other person, okay? So it's how do you run a business? Do you understand your products and benefits? Okay, by this, we can share information back and forth. I'm always learning something new from other people, okay? and how to maximize the compensation plan. And I kind of alluded to that just a few minutes ago. So how you maximize your compensation plan. And it all comes down to step number eight, duplicate. Be the role model of your partner, okay? I'm gonna say this again, be the role model of your partner. Why? Because you wanna, know how to teach the eight core activities and eight steps of success so you can duplicate your efforts. Why? This is the fastest way to achieve real financial goals. Because remember, in network marketing or multi-level marketing, whatever you want to call it, it's not the people we, it's not the people I know, okay? But it's the people that they know. What do I mean by that? Okay, we sponsor a person into Adam. Okay, we work with that person to help the people they know. Okay, and they're going to take this ball and they're going to run with it. And once this ball starts moving, it goes really fast. Okay, so that's the idea of duplication. If you can do it, 
and they can follow what you're doing, you've duplicated. Then, this is a critical step that turns this business from a hobby into a predictable profession, okay? And it allows you to leverage your time so that success is not dependent on just your efforts. And that's what I'm talking about. It's not dependent upon my efforts. Yeah, I got to put forward a lot of effort in helping someone else. And by helping someone else, <laughs> excuse me a moment. <clears throat> but in helping someone else out, that's where you really start growing. Okay, key thing here is it doesn't matter what works for you. It only matters if it can duplicate. So becoming is not about doing 4,000 things. It's about doing eight things 4,000 times from Chet Holmes. Okay, doing eight things 4,000 times. Eight steps to success, eight core. Okay, so you want to multiply your time. Why? Because time is precious. It's more important than money. Top representatives, time is precious, and you must be building your Atomy business on a consistent basis. Using the Atomy system, focusing on the eight steps and the eight core allow you to spend quality time growing new representatives into mentors, business partners, because that's where you start earning the bigger bucks, the residual income we talk about in the compensation plan. So how do you know when duplication is happening? You have duplication when you have four or five personal representatives spending a minimum of five hours a week to Atomy and teaching the eight steps and eight core to their team from Jeffrey Boyle. So I'm going to say this, success, go get it. And may you always know peace, love, light, and laughter, and I thank you. And that's the end of my presentation. Oh, wow, thank you so much. Let's give him a big round of applause. Thank you, Bill. That was very good. Excellent. We appreciate it. Wow. Everyone.